The Department of Transportation Act created the Federal Railroad Administration in 1966. It is one of ten agencies in the Department of Transportation. It was created from the ideas of a unified Department of Transportation. President Johnson wanted a program in charge of coordinating and managing all the transportation departments. It helps with the efficiency of transportation. Its main function in the modern day is public transportation. For example, subways, people movers, and Amtraks. These modes of transportation truly benefit all citizens, especially those in big cities. Now to talk about budget. FRA's proposed $8.2 billion budget continues its strong safety mission, as well as the administration's pledge to make targeted investments in high-speed passenger rail. These investments will support construction of core express high-speed lines, where future population growth will lead to increasingly congested airways and roadways and highway trip times between major population centers. In fiscal year 2012, the FRA requests $223 million for safety and operations and $40 million for railroad research and development. This is the most important part of the budget, the National High Performance Rail System. $8 billion in obligation limitation for the first year of a six-year proposal to set the stage for realizing the President's goal of giving 80% of Americans convenient access to a passenger rail system, featuring high-speed service within 25 years. These funds are requested to preserve and enhance America's existing rail infrastructure and to support and develop a three-tiered passenger rail network.